Free yourself. Fade in. Exterior, beach day, flashback. It's early 1970s. Young Zoe and her brother TJ are preschool age and blonde with round bellies. Their mother, Rosemary, and father, Jim, are in mid-twenties. The father is Caucasian with dark brown hair and eyes, and their mother is tall with blue eyes and auburn hair. Her mother looks like a cross between Penny Marshall and Barbara Streisand, and her father looks like Buddy Holly. Series of shots. Exterior beach. Young Zoe and her young brother are jumping in the waves laughing. Her mother follows their father to the house. Exterior house. The father is following a pretty blonde into the vacation home. Interior house. The mother watches from the shadows as the husband goes up the staircase following the pretty blonde. When the blonde reaches the top landing, their eyes lock. She goes into the bathroom and he follows her. Interior bathroom. He pins her to the wall passionately and they fuck standing up. Interior house, mother in shadow. The mother winces and heads back outside. Exterior beach. The mother walks quickly towards the father's boat. The children watch until their mother is out of sight. Looking confused. Exterior house. Father comes out of the house smiling. Exterior beach. Father stops to give young Zoe a kiss on the cheek. He notices his boat drifting and pushes his daughter aside, runs towards the dock, locking eyes with his wife, walking back towards her children. Her eyes pierce his. Exterior dock. He jumps in fully clothed and swims after his boat, cursing while family members watch. Exterior beach. Mother walks quickly to her children. The little girl looks for her father as she hears screams from the dock. Her mother pulls them towards the house. Exterior dock. Jesus, what's he doing? He's Navy trained. He's an excellent swimmer. They keep staring at the lake, hoping. Jesus. Jim! Jim! Witness number two, male. I'm going in. He dives in fully clothed. Go after him! I'm calling emergency. Interior house. Mother turns to talk to her daughter. It's going to be okay. Book on, book on, book on. He repeats while hitting his head against the floor. Mommy! TJ's hitting his head! Dissolve. Present. Interior counselor's office. Adult Zoe. It's mid-90s. Zoe has long brown hair, big eyes, and dimples when she smiles. She has a slim, strong body like a swimmer. Counselor. Soft-spoken, petite Asian woman with warm eyes and smile. What brings you here today? In early 20s, eyes down and quiet. I need more than academic counseling. I was told you can do that? Most counselors offer academic support, but I'm qualified to do that. I believe emotional self-care is important to academic success. I've been out of school for a while. I tried before, here and another school for fashion design. I wasn't successful. My grades. I have an F for not officially pulling out of psychology. I did better in my art class, but I missed too much. Didn't keep up. You were working too much? We have all yes, day. but mostly, it was the kind of hours that I worked. I worked late at night. I don't now. I feel better about that, but I feel very rusty. My writing, this routine, I feel different. The students here at Community College, from all different backgrounds and work situations. Are you the first to attend college? Are I'm not. Sure? My mother tried to attend, but she never got her degree and... Long pause holding back tears. She said we probably will never attend or finish college. That's just our lot. No money for college. Not the right kind of family. I can't fail again. My high school counselor directed me to tech school based on my average grades and family situation. She didn't even say I could go to community college. So I studied fashion design at tech school. It allowed me to move out and live with my sister, since the school wasn't close, no bus. I loved it, being away from all the cliques and high school bullshit, having lunch with adults and smoking my clove cigarettes. They had real stories about divorce, surviving abuse, imperfect, wise, creative people. But I didn't love sewing on an industrial sewing machine. It's like trying to control a wild Mustang. 
Whoa! <laughs> you don't want to pursue fashion design? And now? I don't. I felt very isolated. Especially after leaving my tech school with the wonderful mixed bag of adults. In the community college fashion program, nobody talked about what was going on in the world. Just fashion. And I was working a lot, so no time to socialize at all. I had two part-time jobs, trying to pay a room for rent. Can you try to work around 20 hours a week? Maybe put in extra hours over breaks? Keep your credit low to the minimum, slow and steady, don't get overwhelmed? Do you have support? I can. I feel better about that, but I'm pretty shy to speak up in class. I literally shake and lose my breath. I wasn't like that my whole life. New situations. Unstable. Your family now? Wow. No, not really. My dad drowned when I was four to five years old. My mother moved to the East Coast after I moved out at 16. My sister has her own problems. I don't really know my relatives. We were uprooted from Wisconsin to Seattle. I was eight years old. That's young, lots of change. Well, I can assure you there are many students here from single-parent homes. Some are young parents themselves. It's not just about my dad. I couldn't stand working two jobs anymore, with holes in my shoes. I was so tired, late to everything by bus. So at 17, I responded to an ad for go-go dancers. Make big money. It was really weird, surreal to do that for work. But then again, I worked at a pizza job where my manager snorted cocaine and the assistant manager dated a stripper. <laughs> Guys didn't take me seriously up to that point anyway. The only one who did went to jail. Trust broken. Somehow it slipped his mind to tell me he took a baseball bat to somebody's head. In self-defense, he said. I really want my relationship to work this time. Trust is so hard for me. 